Welcome back guys to the video. So let's talk about a brand new ETF that everyone should definitely check out. It's not out right now, but it will be out very soon. And no, this isn't like a crazy sci-fi spaceship shooter game, even though this webpage does kind of look like it. But this really insane SPAC ETF is going to be created by Defiance right here. They make ETFs. They're fairly new. Currently, they have like three ETFs out, which is the 5G ETF. They got the Quantum ETF and the Junior Biotech ETF IBBJ. And so far, if you look at this overall company, they do pretty well. I mean, in fact, I really like their ETFs because they're very different from the traditional S&P 500 ETF the triple leverage ETF they make ETFs that are pretty much built for like the next generation which is like their motto so you got like a 5g they got quantum stuff they got biotech stuff you get the idea like they're fairly new in the ETF game but so far they're making some pretty insane products and a lot of the ETFs are growing so one of the biggest things and you came here for was for the blank check ETF that has never been done before so keep in mind that SPACs they have been around for a very long time in fact decades it's not a like a really new thing SPACs have been around for quite some time but back then people would much rather go through the lengthy and hard ipo process but recently just feels like a bunch of companies right now the privately owned companies would rather be combining with a blank check company or a SPAC and just hold hands and go public together it's so much simpler saves a lot of time money and the hassle compared to the regular ipo process so right now there's huge surges in SPACs. If you look at like there's SPACs right here, there's SPACs over here. Like you got SPACs sprinkled everywhere. Like you could probably find a SPAC underneath your couch. That's how many of these like blank check companies are just going around town these days. And a lot of them they're getting pretty popular. And one major thing about these blank check companies is before the merger, they always hover at $10. But when there is news about a merger, they shoot up. No matter how good the company or how bad the company, the company will go up. It will always go up at least 10, 20%. Sometimes if it's really good, it'll go up like a few hundred percent. The thing about this is consumers like you and me, we don't really have that much information in the blank check companies. We don't know when these blank check companies will be announcing news, and we don't know when we could actually buy in and make a profit before the news actually comes. And a lot of people, they buy like these blank check companies, they hold them for months and months and they don't see any results. And a lot of these blank check companies, they suck. Like they are probably gonna combining with a lot of things that do not have a lot of hype. You have to do extensive research for individual SPACs and that takes a lot of time. There's a lot of these on the market. You might be thinking, oh, there's probably like just a few SPACs here and there, you know, I could probably do my research. No, you can't. There's probably like 30 of them and probably even more. And they're coming out like by the truckload. And it's really crazy. So you probably need to get an ETF for this. So the whole thing, you know, this ETF works is pretty much they buy a ton of different SPAC stocks. And when let's say one of the SPACs do announce news and the stock does go up, the overall SPAK ETF, the SPAC ETF does go up as well. It tracks them. So, so far, this brand new ETF by Defiance will be 80% in blank check companies and also 20% in companies that are going to be through the regular IPO process and taking public. Keep in mind that SPACs, even though they're super popular, they're still pretty rare. And the most famous ones are probably going to be DraftKings, Nikola, and Virgin Galactic. So, the thing is, it's going to be a little bit risky ETF. And if you invest in these blank check companies, they're pretty risky and you don't know what's going to happen. So you want to be investing in an ETF, which they will have multiple different SPACs inside, which is pretty awesome. This SPAC ETF concept was brought up to a lot of people several months ago. No one was even thinking about it. But now Defiant seems to be one of the first ones to actually go through. They're trying to get this ETF approved and go in. So far, if you check out this year, there's 48 SPACs. They've raised $17 billion. And that's 40% of all the money raised in the 2020 IPO market. So you get the idea. This is very big and there's a ton of young millennials, youngsters on Robinhood and other brokerages that are always investing in these blank check companies. I can't get through a single day without hearing somebody say about SPAQ or some sort of a really crazy SPAC company. You can clearly see SPACs, generally speaking, they're not really good. That's why you may want to have a nice diverse portfolio, AKA this ETF. It's mostly healthcare, got some tech, that comes from FinTech, got some industrials, and that's about it. But so far, things are getting pretty good. 
And keep in mind that if you don't really want to be buying SPAK for these blank check companies, you just want to invest in regular IPOs that come out, then check out this IPO ETF. This pretty much tracks all the brand new ETFs and pretty much IPOs, you clearly see they have been doing extremely well because IPOs for some reason has always been getting bought up by a lot of retail traders. If you wanna invest in the IPOs of brand new companies, don't actually gamble your money and buy one single company. Buy something like the Renaissance IPO ETF. It's called IPO. Like the ticker name literally explains itself. So pretty much that's about it. You keep in mind that a lot of these ETFs, they pretty much acquire these stocks, they track them, and they eventually sell them after two years, just like a regular ETF. And so far, if you check out JIX and also SPAQ, the way that the SPAC ETF works is they will be purchasing a lot of these different blank check companies. And once these blank check companies do merge, they most likely will be selling them. So you will lock in a profit. My guess, is this ETF made by Defiance will most likely be an actively managed ETF, meaning that the fees will be extremely high, but you will reap the benefits. Because generally speaking, when blank check companies announce news, they go up. And a lot of these ETFs, for example, Defiance make this ETF and they sell right away, you get to lock in those profits. I really do feel like this will definitely catch on, especially how you do have a lot of people thinking about getting SPACs, but they don't know what to buy. I mean, I've seen people sitting on GIX for months and months and there's no news. Whereas other SPACs out there like Spartan Energy Acquisition, after just a few months, they automatically shoot up because they just got combined with an EV company. You get the idea. So my verdict is and my thoughts on the overall SPAC ETF. It's pretty insanely awesome. I mean, I've been trying to find like an ETF for this kind of thing. I, I have been trying to make my own little mini portfolio of just simply blank check companies, but it takes such a long time to do. And there's like a lot of these blank check companies. You don't know which one is going to be having a merger news the next day. These guys in Defiance still definitely like redo their research. Make sure things are good before they get a specific SPAC. And keep in mind, when they do buy one of these blank check companies, it will be before these blank check companies announce news. So a lot of these stocks that Defiant gets for SPAK, it's gonna be $10 a share, and they virtually are just gonna be blank check companies. They're just gonna be a shell. And once they do combine with a private company, the share price of SPAK will go up. And when they go up, they most likely will be selling off that specific SPAC stock and reinvesting in somewhere else. That's my guess what's gonna happen, but clearly right now they will be going through like the US Securities and Exchange Commission. They already submitted a filing on Friday, and so far this ETF will be managed and traded under the ticker SPAK, and hopefully this comes out, and I really do feel like it will be gaining in popularity. So far Defiance, they have been making some pretty amazing ETFs. A lot of these ETFs are making people money, and they're actually doing a pretty good job. And a lot of these brand new ETF companies brand new managed companies, they're actually really good compared to some of the older brands like PowerShares and Directions. Trust me on this, for example, Defiance, ARC, these actively managed ETFs are really well built. Like a lot of them employees are mostly young people, people that have like really great minds for innovation. And this is why a lot of these tech ETFs are absolutely going through the roof. That's about it, thanks for watching.